Okay, four. four well, days. and Roly. What's up, guys? What day is it today? No? No answer? Guys? Yeah? All right. Awesome. Laszlo, how are you? Doesn't matter. What day is it today? No? Hey, Bucky. What day is it today? Okay, in Spanish. ¿Qué día es hoy? Do you know? No? Okay. Hey, this feature on the giraffes, I need it done by next Wednesday. Seeker, okay? seeker, 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 seeker. Hey, hey, how are you? What day is it today? Friday. What time is it? Two o'clock. Riptide! What, what? Get Riptide, get happy. On today's episode of Riptide, we visit the tardy tank. The tardy tank. The tardy tank aims to reduce the number of tardies in the school population. A recap from the freshman picnic. There's a lot of anxiety from the parents of students not knowing the school. And Miley Cyrus. I did have the best performance. And Riptide starts now. Good afternoon, Bucks. Today is Friday, September 13th. I'm Ruel. And I'm Andy, and you're watching Riptide. Hey, Ruel, have you been in the tardy tank yet? OMG, yes. They're really cracking down hard this year. Let's go to a clip. Many students this school year have been impacted by the new idea of the tardy tank. The tardy tank aims to reduce the number of tardies in the school population. The purpose of the tardy tank is to ensure that all students are in class on time. We are teaching them how to be productive citizens when they go out into the real world and get their jobs. They need to be on time to their jobs, so we are teaching them a skill that they will need in a real life situation. So far, the tardy tank has had a very positive effect on the rate of tardies in the school. Uh, it's actually affected at about 50%. We've gone from about 400, 500 students uh, tardy on a daily basis last year. So now uh, we're about 200, 220, 210, somewhere around there. So it has made a big difference. Our administration has set in place strict consequences for students who have an excessive number of tardies. Well, the consequences are that the first uh, violation through the third violation, they're going to get a warning. Uh, the fourth and fifth violation, they're going to get a, a detention after school. Uh, sixth and seventh violation, they're going to get Saturday school, which actually starts tomorrow. Uh, eighth and ninth violation, they're going to get two days of CSI, and anything above that, then they're going to be uh, suspended from school. The administration has pitched in to help with the tardy tank. My role in the tardy tank is to assi assist as much as possible with ensuring that all students are in class on time. I go in the cafeteria to help process the students that are in line and uh, with the tardies. Everyone be sure to get here on time every day. For Riptide, I'm Gina Herlin. Hey, Ro, I heard the freshman picnic was a hit. Really? Tell me about it. Let's go to a clip. It's the Saturday before school starts, and we're here at the freshman picnic, where new incoming ninth graders are getting a feel for the school. We spoke to some of them to see how they felt about coming to South Dade. I'm nervous, you know, excited. I don't know a lot of people. I'm excited that I'll meet more, because it's a really big school. It's a big school, and it's nice. It's a big circle. Um, it's a new experience. It's different than middle school. Uh, actually, I'm pretty excited. It's my first time. And my brother has been to the school, and I mean, I like it. It's pretty nice. Excited and nervous at the same time. You know, as a freshman, you're always nervous to meet new people and be in a big new school. So. I feel really great. I think it's actually really, really good. It's a big change because it's really big compared to my middle school. <laughs> Well, we feel that students coming into high school, there's a lot of anxiety from the parents of students not knowing the school. Being a school this big, we thought it'd be a great idea to invite the incoming ninth graders so they get an opportunity to visit our building and take tours of their classes. It's going great. We have over 300 people here, uh, teachers, faculty members, and staff. We have food, we have music, and the environment has been extremely positive so far. The first ever freshman picnic was a great success. Like Mr. Perez said, there was over 300 people who attended. It was a great way to start the school year. With Riptide, I'm Brittany Hoskins. Andy, have you signed up for any new clubs this year? No, I don't even know what new clubs there are this year. Let's go to a segment to find out. So Alexandra, what inspired you to make the IB Society? What inspired me to make the Ivy Society was the fact that during my junior year, it was very difficult being part of the Ivy program. So this year, I decided to create the Ivy Society to help underclassmen and 
support each other and make the IB program grow. So, Mercy, what are the benefits of joining the IB Society? Well, as a member of the IB Society, you'll learn more about what the IB Academy is all about. You'll have more opportunities for community service, and you'll be part of our new mentoring program. So, Lauren, what inspired you to make this club? Well, I wanted there to be a way that student athletes could be recognized for all of their efforts all around South Day, both on and off the field. What are the benefits of joining this club? We have a lot of interesting and fun things planned for this year. Um, lots of community service ideas, fundraisers, and different activities that all members can participate in. What kind of people should join? Any athletes from any sport in the school, um, preferably athletes that have actually completed one season of some sport, um, but anybody that is interested in really fulfilling the all-around athlete aspect. So Demis, what inspired you to make the psychology club? Well, when I took psychology last year, I found it very interesting, so I wanted to create a club so other students that find it interesting as well can come together and they can talk about psychology and you don't have to be taking the class to be part of the club because it's open to all members. It's open to anyone who's interested in the subject and I found it interesting, so I hope that other people find it interesting as well. What are some of the activities you plan on doing this year? Well, first and foremost, we want to go on a lot of field trips. We have already a college tour to FIU in the works. Um, we're trying to see if we can um, establish more field trips along the year. We might have an end of the year field trip. Um, also, there's going to be a lot of community service opportunities because we're going to join forces with other clubs like Key Club and the Ivy Society. So wherever they're going to go for hours, we're going to go too. And also, if you are taking the class and you need any help with tutoring, any help with um, anything, any questions that you have with psychology, you can come to the club and we'll help you. And we're also interested in doing like trivial games or any psychology related games during our meetings to make it more fun. Hey, Ro, did you see the VMAs? Duh, of course. Did you watch my Cyrus's performance? OMG, yes. Well, we caught up with her after her VMA performance and asked her a few questions. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Miley Cyrus, and you're watching Riptide. <laughs> so, Miley, how was it like performing at the VMAs? Well, I don't like to brag, but uh, I did have the best performance. I mean, with, you know, my costume, my, mm, Robin, we, it was just an amazing, phenomenal time. So, Miley, um, do you always twerk in your performances? Uh, you're supposed to stop. <laughs> okay. So, how did your father feel about your performance? Well, I talked, I talked to Billy before, before the actual show. And he looked at me and he was like, Miles, you know, you're a big girl now, so just do whatever you want. So I was like, all right, daddy, and that's what I did. You know, I'm not Hannah anymore. You know, everybody thinks like, I'm supposed to be Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. I am 21 years old. You know, I'm not 15 anymore. This is not the best of both worlds. It's Miley or Miley. There is no other thing, it's Miley or Miley. That's the both worlds. I can't stop. We won't stop. <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah. So, um, we have some video footage of you falling out of the club. Um, is it true that you have bad balance? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, oh mm, hey, funny story. Uh, you ready? All right, I'm going to tell you. All right, it was me and Tay. Tay, you know, you know Tay, right? Tay, Lur, Swift. Okay, okay. It was me and her. We was at, you know, we was getting our thing. And we can't stop or whatever. And she thought it would be a joke to trip me while falling out of the club. Everybody thinks every time I go to the club, I'm gonna have bad balance, but it was just her tripping me. And I, it was new shoes, I wasn't used to the height, 
and the atmosphere up there it was it messed with my head a lot so it was misunderstanding that's all for today books I'm Ruel. And I'm Mandy. Be sure to tune in next week for another episode of Riptide. Have a wonderful weekend.